This is about whether De Mauve's theorem holds for all integer n, and I'll show that it does. If n is equal to zero, then by definition, this to the zero is defined to be one, and on the other hand, if you use the formula, you'd have r to the zero, which is one, cosine of zero is one, sine of zero is zero, so you still get one. So you see it works if n is zero. Now, suppose that n, uh, that you're going to be looking at minus n, where n is positive. So in other words, you're going to raise this to a negative integer power. Well, then here you have this. Uh, by definition, it's equal to this. And now, using the formula, this is equal to this. We can bring the n on the inside and put it on the r and have cosine of nt plus i sine of nt. And that gives you r to the minus n. And then here I'll multiply on the top and on the bottom by cosine of nt minus i sine of nt. And if we do that, then we get cosine squared plus sine squared in the bottom. And in the top we get this. Now this denominator here is equal to 1 because that's what that's the fundamental identity for cosines and sines. And so it just reduces to this because where you have minus i sine of nt, that's equal to plus i sine of minus nt because the sine is an odd function.